Got a couple buddies of mine with us today. We got Reed the Workhorse, and he definitely lives up to his name on the poker table. We got Lou KY Player, another great player, folks. Like I say, we're playing today at Bluffs Poker Club. Come check us out. We're in a 10-man sit-and-go, folks. Only the top three players are going to get paid. Sit-and-goes are easy, so we should... Good luck, Dave. Yeah, good luck, buddy. <laughs> Never let us see you sweat. <laughs> All right, did he get it in good? And yes, he did. He's in with the best of it. He got out flat, though. Good game, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> it's canasta for you. take a shot here since the workhorse is already folded. I'll try to steal with position. I'm sure we're going to get one caller. Punish the limpers. Yeah, well, Ice Bear has got enough chips to call me, so I'm pretty sure he'll be in there. Oh, and he's the one who folded. All right, we need hearts. Oh, I got two live cards. There's your queen. Yeah, two live cards, and I outflopped them, and sometimes that's all you need, folks. Yeah, exactly. Punish the limpers. If you got anything and you got position, punish the limpers. I'm sorry. I just See, now he called the raise. If, if you was going to call the raise, if you think your hand was good enough to call that raise pre-flop, it, wouldn't it have been better if you to put the chips out there yourself rather than, you know, having them put the pressure back on you to call the raise or not? I mean, it just makes good sense to me to come in for a raise. Absolutely. Yeah, if you're going to play, if your hand's good enough to play, it's good enough to raise with. If it's not, then throw it in the muck where it probably belongs. That he'll probably call him regardless, even if he has an ace rag here. Or even if the king has him beat already. See? I mean, it makes no sense, but you could see that he had enough chips and he had enough invested already, he was going to go ahead and call it. There was no fold in there. But that was his own stupidity, not coming in for a raise with the ace queen. He come in with a good enough raise, he might have got that ace king to fold pre flop. <coughs> Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, it's a possibility. You put the pressure on your opponent when you come in for a raise rather than coming in for a limp. And this mem, mem raise stuff, this is the same as a limp, if you ask me. I put no value in mem raises either. <laughs> yeah, just my opinion, you know. Well, I've picked up a lot of good uh, philosophies from you after playing with you for a while, and uh, I think they work. Well, thank you, thank you. Especially for online play, you know, and, and it works good for uh, live poker also. Oh, very, very true, and it just holds true more online because there's so many donkeys online, and it's really not that there's so many donkeys, it's just that there's so many more players and so many more hands you can see per hour that we're, you know, we're getting to see a lot more players play rather than live where it's a lot slower. We're seeing less players or less hands per hour, you know, so we catch a lot less donkeys that way because we're seeing less hands, you know? Yep, yep, I hear that. And you know the philosophy, if you can't find the donkey in the first 10 minutes, then you better find the mirror. His limp uh, in, in under the gun allowed Dante there to limp, which also gave 4-1 to one odds for Shady Ray 12 to, to limp in there, you know? Now, I caught a piece of that flop. Uh... I'm going to go ahead and check it, though, because I don't have a great piece of it, and it looks like a straight working out there, so I still need a little help. 
someone bets now, I should throw it away, but that's a MIM bet. So how can you put much, you know, stock in a MIM bet? I, I am going to see another card only because I do have a piece of it. Now I've got a good flush draw also. So I either go for it here with the flush draw and my pair and hope to hit two pair or my flush, or I can check. And so I guess we'll elect to check it here. Only because I want to see what the bets will look like. Now, if he comes out with another mim bet, obviously he's going to invite Shady in here. It's a small bet, relatively small bet, you know, 70 into a 255 pot. Obviously, he's going to get a caller. And since I'm still looking to hit the flush, I am just going to call it rather than raise. <coughs> and there's the diamond. Now we've made the flush. Now, I should check again because I think Dante will come out with a bet, which is what I'm going to elect to do. He'll come out with a bet. Shady Ray can call, and then I can check raise. Uh, wouldn't you know it? He doesn't come out with a bet. Right, here's my buddy Workhorse, under the gun, limping. Punish the limper, somebody. <laughs> yep, yep, huh? Now, you see a small raise pre-flop, almost a mim raise, and, and then he checks post-flop. It makes no sense. Now, I like the bet here, though. This is almost a pot-sized bet. Should say that we've got the flush draw going, or we've got a good over pair. My bet is an over pair. What do you got there, jacks or something? No, I got I got the flush draw. Okay. Phil must have the over cards. Ace king, ace queen. I'd put him on. And, but with his style of play, maybe he's got it as low as an ace nine, and he's probably got the ace of heart. And good luck there, buddy. Oh, my God, he's <laughs> flopped the straight. <laughs> but you got him with the flush. Nice hand. Yeah, got lucky on that. Yeah, got you know, a little lucky. Quite but a few out. What did he, he... He raised with a 5-7 off suit. Pre-flop. I mean, it's just an idiotic raise. So, as soon as I pick up anything, I'm going to ship. And, you know, I'm more than sure that Phil Moe 78 will be in the hand. Shady and Ice Bear are about your other two weaker players at the table, I believe. <clears throat> and I knew he would call, just like I said. All right, I've got a small pair here, uh, workhorse, so like I said, anything I got, I was going to go ahead and, and, and ship on them, knowing that we'd pick on up the chump change that Phil had. So look at that. I'm coming in ahead of the game. i got a lot of bullets to dodge, though. You got it, bud. Nice Man, job. they gave it to me. Look at that. See, pairs do not have to improve. <laughs> Especially if they're fighting against each other. Except for the king queen down there underneath you. The other two. Sit. Seems as though he's not here now. Oh, I guess yeah. he is back. Okay. Yeah, he's here. Yeah, he was folding real quick there for a minute, so I thought he might not be, you know? All right. You know me, punish the limpers. I do not believe in limping, especially three handed, and you're in the money. <clears throat> and especially with these cards I got. I couldn't say that while you were in the hand. <laughs> I got the ace king here, so let's see if he'll ship on me here with an ace rag. Or maybe he's got a queen. Ah. Here, take a good look, Dante. Now you can be scared. <laughs> yeah, I understand. You betcha. That is going to really irritate me, Mr. <laughs> Poppy's Bluff. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Yeah, I'm taking a chance here. Just a 9-10. 
It's a connector. I've got two live cards, so we just got to hope to outflop. And sometimes that's all that's you need. Sick, nice. <laughs> Good game, buddy. All yeah. right, folks. This has been that's Poppy's Bluff. Workhorse has been with me. Lou, KY player, has been here. Boy, folks, we're having a good time over here at BluffsPokerClub.com. Come check us out, folks. Free site where you win real money, real caches every single month, every single day of the week.